during lockdown, one of my adventures was to go fly fishing. Uh, my good friend Alex took me out and today we're on the West Kiwa River uh, and we're going to try to catch a fish on a fly. So how do you decide whether you're going to use a nymph for a fly and what you're actually going to tie on? Well, now that it's warmer, we look around and there's mayflies and stoneflies and caddis and we want to imitate that, so we're going to fish a dry fly. So I'm a total newbie to fly fishing. I've got my um, spinning rod here as well, just in case I don't have any luck. Um, but basically, Alex is going to take this first shift up to his, uh, this tighter section of river. What he's doing is looking for these little holes, either the deeper sections of river or the pockets of slow moving water where the fish usually sit. He's trying to float the fly past them, uh, just as if it was a little bug floating downstream. So he just had a fish, have a go at the dry fly, but I don't think he loved it. So we're gonna tie on a nymph and get that down in his face and see if he eats that instead. So he just went looking for nymphs and, uh, and found this guy. This is the bigger version of basically what Alex has got on. And he's just trying to imitate the, uh, the earlier phases of its life cycle or mayfly's life cycle. I'm gonna take this next section of river and uh, see if I can get one. There's so much finesse in fly fishing. I've, uh, I've already got a couple of tangles today and mostly it's just me, um, me catching the line on the back cast. I didn't have much luck on the fly rod, so I'm gonna go back to spinning. Alex is gonna stay fly fishing, and we're both gonna fish this next section of river here. Um, I'm gonna wade across to the other side, just so I don't spook any of the fish over this side, and we're gonna both fish it together. So I'm about halfway across the river at the moment. <laughs> there was a trout just there, jumped out. Got one and swam down to me. I, uh, I knocked the GoPro off my head and missed two with the net. Bugger. Hopefully we'll be able to get another one. I got a hole in my waders and um, <laughs> I can feel it pretty much as high as the water goes. I grew up on the coast. I spent a lot of time around rivers until moving into, into this part of the region. And, yeah, each one almost has its own little personality and it's just nice to get out in the water and into places that you would never usually normally get into. Plenty of people say that fishing's not really about catching the fish. It's about spending time outdoors and they might be right. Today hasn't been our day. But one thing I know for sure is that it's not over until you pack up and go home. Chase him! Chase him! Come on! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! I can see why this river was named after some indigenous words meaning sweet water. It's a spectacular part of the region. It was great hanging out with Alex and I feel my fishing is improving. I can't wait to get out and explore more. It was nice to get out to this beautiful part of the world and I'm feeling really refreshed after uh, after standing in the river for the last couple of hours. It's starting to get a bit dark. Uh, see you guys next week.